the Canada goose can be found across most of North America, including right here on Cape Cod. It is a migratory bird, which means that it changes its nesting location in response to seasonal temperature and food availability. Many fly south for the winter and return to the north during the summer. They are well known for flying in a V formation and can usually be heard making their distinctive call, which is a series of loud hunks. Weighing in at 10 to 14 pounds and equipped with webbed feet for swimming, it is the second largest waterfowl in North America with only the swan being bigger. Both males and females have similar plumage. Their bodies are brown, gray with white feathers under their tails. A black head and neck with bright white cheeks make them unmistakably identifiable. The male is called a gander, the female is called a goose, and the young are called goslings. They prefer to nest in green fields within eyesight of a body of water. Their nests consist of large mounds of vegetation lined with down. And as you can see here, some non-migratory geese make their homes in urban areas where food is often plentiful. Canada geese tend to mate for life. On average, the goose will lay four to seven eggs. The incubating is solely performed by the goose with the gander seriously guarding the nest, attacking intruders on site. Within 25 to 30 days, the gosling will hatch and be lead to water within the following day. They remain with their parents until the following spring. I was fortunate enough to capture a couple of gosling with their parents, as you can see here. Their diet consists mainly of aquatic plants, small aquatic animals, grass, and grains. In conclusion, the Canada goose is one of the most common and easily identifiable waterfowl in North America. I find the Canada goose to be a beautiful bird in its own way, especially the babies. They are so cute, don't you think? If you 
found this video to be informative, please let me know by clicking the like button and please subscribe for more videos about all things nature.